<clears throat> what is up everybody the other video should be uploading right now but wanted to go out during the heaviest part of the storm as well and we're going to do the whole valley so you guys can see the big bear snow rule it's going to be a very minuscule difference because there's very little snow but it's way more snow than we've had all season so i hope you guys enjoy it here's the radar this is what it's showing it's going to end soon it just started not not too long ago but look so we're going to be going through the heaviest part right right here so we're going to be driving for the next hour i'm really excited and then it, it's gone i mean it's it's gone so we got to catch this i'm excited hope you guys enjoy it let's go all right you guys we are going so just so we avoid any traffic even though you you know what we're gonna go the opposite way we were gonna go through the dam area first to avoid the traffic coming back into town because if we go this way out to baldwin first and then come back around then we'll be mixing in with the traffic coming into town so i'm just hoping it's not too bad but here we are here's the boulevard of broken dreams Oh, it's so beautiful out here. It's coming down really nice and steady. Best snow we've had all season, guys. This is just fantastic. If you guys watched the last video, I did a little promo for a company called Ski Warrior Goggles. You guys need to check these things out. And I put a link in the, in the description. There'll be a link for the next month at least. Um, and then there's a discount code. You'll save quite a bit of money. These are the most insane goggles I've ever seen. They have push to talk walkie-talkie features you can make phone calls you can listen to music they have zeiss lenses for those of you who are camera people you'll know how incredible zeiss is um, also it's it's got like a little weather forecast on the screen on the goggles it's it's just ridiculous like i've never it's like such future technology it's so cool um it even comes with a little piece for your wrist uh just so you can mess with everything while you're skiing or snowboarding right on your wrist without having to uh, bring your hands up to your face and touch all the buttons on these goggles so I can't believe this company wants me to work with them um, I think you guys will be super stoked they were kind enough to send Rachel and myself a nice pair each so I'm just I can't wait to actually use them again like I've always spent good good money on goggles and these are not cheap these are super high quality but they're brand new they just came out in December ski warrior goggles again there will be a link in the description to, to buy them and then a link to their YouTube channel which is a very new YouTube channel as well but I think you guys will be stoked if you guys only knew how many companies I get offered to collaborate with it's been at least 45 different companies maybe maybe more this is the first one that seemed like it's something right up my alley. Then we have another company called Snowden or something like, like that. Not like Edward Snowden, but like Snowton. And they have the most amazing ski jackets, like 300, 500 bucks. They wanna send me some free, super cool equipment to help promote them and again that would be right up my alley because i like nicer stuff i like beautiful ski equipment and these jackets looked amazing so i'll keep you guys posted on that but yeah woohoo! <laughs> look at this all right so i want you guys when you can remember to keep on focusing on how little snow is on the ground the further we go this way compared to when we get to the big bear dam this is the Big Bear Snow Rule, and I'm finally getting to show all my new family on the channel. And thank you guys for liking, subscribing, helping me out. If you haven't already, please, please do that. I'd really appreciate it. I work so hard at this. During this, during this time of year, I lose an awful lot of sleep because I'm constantly making videos and uh, extra, extra, extra constantly responding to comments. I try not to miss anyone's comment. If, if I ever miss anyone's comment, it's guaranteed because it's in the held for review section on my channel. And since I'm human like everyone else, I get my feelings hurt too. I don't want to see any mean, mean comments. And I hope I'm not throwing a bone out there to some people to say, hey, let's mess with him. <laughs> you know, do what you got to do. I've gotten a lot better. I, I hardly get mean comments ever, but um, you know, it does happen as your channels grow. 
you're gonna get keyboard warriors who are just very mean and super tough from a keyboard where you don't know where they are or who they are. So just, just understand that's probably why, if I've missed anyone's comments, that's exactly why. Because uh, they're in the held for review section. So if I don't respond to you, just read read your comments, see it, if it could be construed as an as as like a mean, vicious comment. Um, and uh, yeah, again, I just don't like going into that held for review pile. As I said, I'm I am human. You know, I work really hard. I try to do good for others. I try to help you guys out and do the best I can to hook you guys up with everything up here, like uh, from the best rates at hotels to like free ski and snowboard waxing at get boards and um again these ski warrior goggles and stuff like that you you got to remember though um, when you look in the description of the video and even in the comment section I, uh, there will be the link for the ski warrior stuff plus the discount code and the youtube channel for them again it's a brand new channel so they don't have have much but uh i mean these are some extraordinary extraordinarily high quality goggles and I'm very proud to be representing them. So yes, we are in Big Bear City now and as I said we're going to be heading out to Baldwin Lake to capture the snow out there. We're going to do the whole valley, the whole main part of the valley because we're going to be driving through the heaviest part of this beast, this little tiny beast. This is definitely David versus a Goliath storm, but for a little storm, it's gonna pack a, a, a small punch for, for five hours of snow, you guys, which is what we're supposed to be getting, maybe four hours of snow. Um, I still think the two inch mark is probably gonna be right, but you never know, you never know. If this storm like just wobbles a little tiny bit and we get more into the, the oranges on the radar, then we could get three, four, or five inches in that short period of time. So keep 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 your hopes high for us, you guys. And if you're coming up here to stay safe, make sure you call 800 Caltrans and or go to the website, the Caltrans website, type in your highway number that you plan on driving up and it'll give you the most up-to-date info. With storms like this, if you call right before you leave home, smart idea, but also call as you're you're getting to the bottom of the mountain and bring your tire chains. I'm, I'm almost certain they're gonna have chain restrictions. So check that all out. I, I don't want you guys wasting your time and I want you to have fun and, and be extra safe. Safety comes first, y'all. Safety comes first. So as a matter of fact, I'm gonna make the first video public right now. Yeah, boy. Oh no, I didn't wanna do that. Oops, hang on. Come on, windshield wipers. What are you doing here? Do your job, yo. Just cars turning left here, so no, no biggie. No biggie, no biggie, no biggie. And again, I, I just really hope I don't hit the traffic over by the dam, but you know what? It's all part of the experience. It'll show you guys what to expect. I'm happy to sit through it to give you guys the full experience. Jamming. Hope you like jamming. 
to. We cruising, 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 we cruising. Hope you like cruising too. I hope you like cruising. I hope you like cruising. I wanna cruise in with you. I do wanna cruise in with you. This is just fantastic. All oh, this snow is just fantastic. Oh, I'm very happy. I don't know why I get so excited, but I'm very happy. I've been like this since I was a little kid, you guys. I, I just get so overwhelmed with just the beauty and the serenity that it, that it brings into my heart. And driving this amazing Subaru just helps out big time as well. Because we got the snow tires, all wheel drive. It's about time we get to finally use the snow tires this season though. Hold on, I gotta share this video on Facebook real quick. The previous, or the video that I'm posting right now. Hang tight, just for a quick second. Go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com to get your, your awesome Big Bear Weather and More merch to help support the channel. And there's other ways in the description to support me on the channel if anyone's interested. Anything helps, it really does. I go through exorbitant amounts of gas, but either way, whether I had assistance or not, this is what I love to do for you guys, and I'm always going to do it. Nothing is going to stop me. I shouldn't say that as I'm pulling up to a stop sign kind of fast because something could stop me. Cowabunga! That's a cool license plate. Is that Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello, or Raphael? Which one is it? I'm going to guess in that car is Donatello. Okay, we're entering Baldwin now. So again, as we get further out into Baldwin, basically to where Baldwin Lake Road meets Highway 18, I want you to remember in your mind how much snow is out here. And then when we get to the Big Bear Dam, <laughs> it's, it's gonna be a very significant visual difference. In these little storms though, it's, it's, it's not gonna be that, that drastic. It's typically the, the bigger storms we get, but it's always less snow out here, always. It just looks like we're driving into the snow abyss. It's just, oh, I love it. Don't forget, you guys have any questions about anything, let me know. If you guys want to know about hotels, hotel rooms up here and stuff, go to my playlist that talks about lodging. The title for the playlist is called Lodging in, in Big Bear. And uh, I got probably 16 or 17 different lodging videos. There's going to be a lot more coming as the year goes on. I'm going to try to be booking a different hotel for each good sized storm just so we can do the time lapses from there as well get a different perspective of those time lapses like I did last season but uh, yeah check out my lodging playlist and I do the complete tour of the whole place so you get to see what to expect before you go there or uh, you know if you have no idea what you're looking for spend, spend some time 
checking out some of these hotels. And then uh, that'll help you make a good determination on what you want to do because your money is valuable. You guys work hard for it, and I don't want you guys to, to waste it. This is one of my favorite parts of this whole drive through this somewhat of a tunnel of trees. It's currently about 8.05 in the morning, 32 degrees is the temperature. It's not really supposed to get much warmer today, but I'll tell you what, my luck with our weather forecasting, it's supposed to be all snow, right? But my luck, it'll get a little, a little bit warmer and change to rain. I shouldn't say that, huh? Nick, what are you doing being such a negative Nancy over here? I'm just, you know what? Sometimes I act like a total Barney and uh, I don't wanna be a Barney. Tango, thinking about you, man, how you doing? <laughs> Not a Barney, you no, it's just, you guys wouldn't understand. Uh, I've got an inside thing with a good friend of mine from my home area. He goes by the name Tango. He's, a, he, you know, was a military, like uh, special forces, private security, like super high up there. So I never mentioned his real name on here. I'm proud to know someone like that. The guy's, the guy's just, just amazing. He's, he's the type of man that, that most men strive to be. If I could be just one hundredth of that guy, man, I'd be, I'd be extra proud. I'd be extra proud. That guy is the man. Thanks again for everything, Tango. And to have someone like him tell me that my channel helped him get through a lot of hard times is just, uh, it makes me very emotional. Because if I can help you guys out, I love it. I love it. I'm honest with you guys about everything. I share all my character defects, hardships that I've been through in hopes that someone can absolutely relate. And if someone can and can see that I can get through it, someone who used to be extremely weak, but I still got through these things, then you can too, for sure. No question in my mind. All right, so you can see there's some brown spots all over the side. It's not full coverage over here yet. And it may not get that way at all. Again, remember this compared to where we're going to end up over by the dam. It's just always this, this huge difference. I wish it was a bigger storm so, so I could really show you guys the huge difference, but that's why I keep on pointing out, remember what it looks like over here. And even the further we go this way, so you can uh, see the difference. Or you can always rewind back to here. Be careful driving up here, guys. That people still fly up here in these conditions. I don't want anything to happen to y'all. I want you guys to be safe. And in most cases, you're gonna have to watch out for other vehicles. So that's what makes it scarier. Again, make sure you have your tire chains with you. I suggest even those of you who rarely come up here, just buy a pair of tire chains. Just just keep them in your trunk. They come in a very compact bag or or little case, so it's, it's not gonna take up much space in your car. And as far as I'm concerned, get yourself some decent chains. Don't just get the, the bare minimum cheap ones because they break easily and they'll just come right off. Not, not always, but that's my experience. And look at these big old snowflakes. This is beautiful. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Zoom in a little bit more. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.
I try to remind you guys too. I know some people who visit up here just want to be able to go to the ski resorts and not get snowed in. So this side of town is your best bet to find an Airbnb. The Baldwin area, the Irwin area. But I know 99% of you want to see a lot of snow. So you want to be from Big Bear Lake, from that town, from there all the way to the dam, that's going to be your best bet to get a lot more snow. And the most snow in the entire valley area is going to be Upper Moon Ridge. So Upper Moon Ridge and Big Bear Lake all the way to the dam. Like in between the village and the dam, if you can find a Airbnb or a hotel, you'll be, you'll be golden. Because the closer you get to the dam, the more snow you're going to get. The more snow, the more dam snow you'll get at the dam. So again, take a look at how little snow is over here. Look at that, just totally dry. Not totally dry, but I mean, pretty darn dry. turn right here on highway 18 and head this direction about a quarter mile up there up this road you will start heading down the mountain into Lucerne Valley look at the Sun look how cool that looks but we're heading this way towards Big Bear City and Big Bear Lake so we are at the end of the mountain range over here again just over this this little hill right here you're gonna be going down the mountain this as the Big Bear snow rule. Last time, all it means is that uh, there's one side of town that will consistently get more snow than the other side, consistently. I didn't get to sleep till about four in the morning. Excited about the storm. And then there was a movie National Treasure that was on and I had never seen it. And I thought, you know what? I like Nicolas Cage. I'm gonna check it out. And it captivated me. I was enthralled. So I didn't fall asleep till about four in the morning. And my alarm, my first one woke me up at six. My second one at 6.20. The third one at 6.40. And then one minute later it started snowing. So yeah, there you go. There you go, yo. So what's the what's the scenario? Okay, again, we're on Highway 18. To the left is Baldwin Lake. I'm gonna roll down our window again. You can see blue skies over there a little bit, a little break in the storm, but it's always like that on this side of town, you guys. I mean, it's because this part of the storm, as it moves through town here, once it gets here, it's really fighting with that dr super dry desert air. And that desert air right there usually wins the fight and just breaks these storms up. It's, it's amazing, these microclimates that we have. It's, it's incredible to me. And I hope it's incredible to you too. 
so yeah just uh as i said when we get over towards the big bear dam there's gonna be significantly more snow coverage i'm excited to get there i'm kind of hoping there's not going to be much traffic because i'm hoping people are postponing their trip until the snow is done just for my selfish need to get through the traffic without traffic <laughs> But ultimately, I really hope everyone's actually coming up here and enjoying the heck out of themselves. driving with the window down and the heat on. My gosh, it feels great. It's great. of some sleet or grapple mixed in with the snow here temperatures 33 degrees I'm telling you all if we were another 1500 feet up in, in elevation like Mammoth Lakes and we we wouldn't see a lot of grapple we're usually on that snow line that's rain and snow line or, or, or very close to it for a majority of our storms so this will happen, you'll get some sleep. I'm not a big fan of sleep. But yeah, it's 33 degrees, 819 in the morning. Woke up quick at about 819 and thought that I had to be in Big Bear soon. I gotta get snow before the day begins, before my mama starts talking about my friends. I'm about to go, darn near went blind. Young people doing spin outs near the stop sign. I know, keep my day job. I know. That's my easy E impression of, of him rapping about Big Bear. I could be like, woke up quick at about noon, just thought that I had to build a snowman soon. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta have fun before the day begins, before my mama starts talking about my friends. It's about to snow. Darn near snow blind. All right, snow's definitely picking up. We're getting more of a snow and sleet mixture as opposed to that two minutes that we just had of pure sleet or grapple whatever and we are in big bear city and we're technically on highway 38 now we were just on 18 but once you cross a street called greenway back there highway 18 on the back side turns into highway 38 and this will be highway 38 all the way to the dam and then whether you make a left or right at the dam, you'll be on Highway 18. Kind of weird how that works, but that's how it works. As you can see, we're already getting a lot more snow coverage here. It's just gonna get greater and greater the closer we get to the dam.
wife right there. All right, so everything's gonna end pretty much around 10.30ish, as you can see. It says it's gonna end at, at 11, but I'm, I'm talking the, the moderate to heavy stuff. So, this is, this is perfect. We've probably got another 30 minutes at least on this drive. We are gonna go through the village on this drive as well, but coming back the other direction. And depending on how heavy it's snowing, if it's snowing really good at, at that point, then we're gonna go up to Upper Moon Ridge as well and do a nice little Upper Moon Ridge trek to see how much snow is up there. friends songs in the background very low because I know a lot of you are not used to that but those of you who are new for my first two or three years I was playing my favorite music in the background I didn't realize I could get in trouble for that for copyright stuff so I was playing all my punk rock and hip-hop and classical stuff all the time and uh, every video I would get these emails saying your video is not eligible for monetization but I'd never thought I'd get to a point where I could be monetized so I just didn't, I didn't care, you know? I never thought we'd even see 100 subscribers because I just thought everyone would think this guy's a total dork just driving around town. And thank you for a lot of you saying, no, you're not a dork. I appreciate that, I really do. And look at this, the snow is really, really coming down now. And for those of you who will leave a comment saying, that's not, that's not a lot of snow coming down. Like, uh, go to Tahoe or, or go to Mammoth. I'm just saying for this town, for right now, this is a good amount of snow falling from the sky. I don't know what's going on here. All right, we just crossed Stanfield Cutoff. Are going to be entering Fawn Skin. Look at how much snow is on the road already, right here. This is great. We're making some fresh tracks for the most part. I'm telling you guys, this is this is my idea of heaven. I hope this is bringing a lot of joy to a lot of you as well. That's why I made these videos public in the first place, was because I wanted to uh, share with everyone what makes me feel really good inside. friend Jeffrey Dean he's a YouTube fan but a, a close friend up here just a cool dude
street. It's just incredibly beautiful. Snow's really coming down now. As I told you, the further we go to this side of town, Isn't that amazing how cars just disappear like that? Right in front, incredible. Coyote, dead ahead. Hey buddy. He knows me. coming down this is awesome Woohoo! it's all snow now it's there's there's no sleet involved temperature fell down to 31 degrees and we are entering the town of Fonskin of Jeffrey Dean. You can go to Jeffrey Dean Music on YouTube and check him out. Show him some love. Show him some support. He used to be pretty famous in uh, some in some of the bands he played for years ago. He's probably in his 50s and uh, just an incredible musician. Incredible. He and his wife are really good people. to a Baldwin you don't really see any any dry patches over here of course some of these 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 little bushes that stick out a couple feet out of the ground of course because we don't have a couple feet of snow but everything surrounding them there are no no dry patches anywhere it's a lot more snow at least I don't know I think over here right now by looking at the road there's probably close to a couple inches already, so that's that's wonderful. That is wonderful. Again, we are in Fonskin. About to head into downtown Fonskin. It's so 
so incredibly lovely out here. The only time I slipped a little bit was in the last video. Believe it or not, I, I, I maintain four tires gripping for pretty much most of the time that I'm driving in these conditions. It's pretty amazing. I can hit, hit my brakes when I need to and usually I will come to a stop pretty quickly. It's all about getting the feel for these conditions. When you guys come up here, when we have snow like this and, and more snow, what I always suggest is in the evening time to have a little fun too. Go into one of the ski, ski resorts, um, big satellite parking lots, and then just practice losing control, spinning the wheel, hitting the brakes, and recovering. And it's not gonna take you long to get that nice feel for it. Here we're at Grout Creek Tributary. There's no one here. And the tributary is not flowing at all yet. But look at how beautiful. Wow, that is beautiful. Just gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous, man. So now that we made that little kind of loop around downtown Bond Skin here, this is where the snow is going to be at its most. From here to the Big Bear Dam. The most snow in Big Bear Valley. And to the right here, we're passing where our eagle habitat is, where Jackie and Shadow live, in one of these trees just right off the road. This is where our beautiful little bald eagles are. Oh my gosh, visibility is getting super low. <laughs> I'm getting super excited about it. I love this so much, oh my God. Oh my gosh. still maintaining 31 right now. I'm going to pull down my window for this view. The lake is right here. Can't see the lake at all. Tesla flying, yeah, yeah, buddy. Yeah, we're right on the lake right here. Boy, oh boy. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I like it, I like it. I miss that 80s music. When I get home to upload this, I'm going to have a lot of comments on the previous video. So that's what I do. And then when I head to work on my way to work i'm responding to comments don't worry i'm not texting i'm i'm voice texting so i have siri read me the comment and then i voice text it back so i'm always keeping my eye on the road but that's how i'm able to respond to everybody every day because i'm constantly responding there's not a time in the day this time of year when i'm not responding to comments it's constantly and i love it dash cam is showing. So this is the dash cam. 
pretty cool pretty darn cool we're getting close to the dam and then for about a quarter mile when we turn left at the dam to hop back on Big Bear Boulevard aka Highway 18 that's the other really snowiest part of town too so from here to the dam and a quarter mile down by far the snowiest part there aren't any hotels in that small little strip but there's definitely some airbnbs and those are going to be the more expensive ones too because you'll be in like papoose bay and those those type of areas where it's just massive beautiful beautiful gorgeous homes that i wish i lived in but someday someday i'll wish upon a star and live in one of these big houses You know, it's good to have dreams, but you gotta put action into your dreams. I, I'm a firm believer in the law of attraction that you just constantly believe it's going to happen and that it already is happening. Kind of like when you're about to go on a roller coaster or go buy a brand new car, that feeling you have in, in, in your stomach when, when you know you're about to do that. Like that's what I try to force myself to feel all the time with some of the things that I would like in life. And they seem to always work out. Not overnight, but sometimes it materializes quickly, sometimes slowly, but it always does. You just gotta believe in yourself, work hard, treat people with love and respect. Do everything you can to touch other people's lives. And eventually, the breaks in life will be presented. But you can't, you know, not take action steps. Law of attraction only works if you have that belief which stirs up so much positivity and uh, motivation to go, go do it, go get it. coming up to the dam right here look at how much snow rewind back to baldwin you guys to where i was turning left on highway 18 where you could turn right and go down the mountain rewind back there so you can see the significant difference there's about there's about th three inches of snow here and then right here sometimes you can't trigger the stoplight so if, if we get two stop, or if this turns red and then turns green and then turns red and turns green again, then we just have to find a, a safe time to, to go through because we won't be triggering it. You can't see where you're supposed to be driving. Um, sometimes this, especially this stoplight, the, the snow really messes with it. But wow, it's coming down so hard right here. It is really coming down. <laughs> Yes, we triggered it. Sweet. Doesn't look like much traffic either. And they do have chain checkpoints, it looks like. I'll get all that information in the community section for you guys as soon as I get home and start uploading this video. I'm going to have to turn this up a bit. Because as you can see, the windshield wiper is starting to get ice on it. We want to try to melt that the best we can. accumulating type of snow you guys so we are we are absolutely getting what I've been asking for I just hope the storm stalls out a little bit which is possible and gives us a few more inches
parts down. I'm blow this windshield wiper up real quick. See if I can throw any ice off of it. Be free. Be free, ice. So yeah, this is what I didn't want to get caught up in is the extra slow traffic over here. But again, it's just going to show you guys what to expect coming into town. It's always suggested, always, always, um, to pull over at every turnout that you can to let the faster traffic by. Um, it's the people who are like, no, I'm not going to let anybody pass. That's what really causes problems up here. Um, I've learned to accept it. If there's someone on my tail, I will pull over every time and let them pass. It's just a way to keep traffic going. Don't be like how I used to be though, which is super dangerous. I'm that type of guy who wants to appease everyone and I don't want to be that guy holding up the line ever. So I will end up speeding, like speeding up to appease the people behind me. And that's when dangerous situations occur. like me you, you just you don't want to hold hold people up but please promise me you will never speed up just because the person's on your tail just make sure the next safe spot you can turn out you turn out and if you have to do that 20 times coming up here do it because your life is precious let them drive like maniacs and uh you know hopefully they stay safe too but you know better them than you and frankly better nobody but definitely better them than you guys. And keep in mind, it's other drivers. That's always the issue up here is other drivers. This side of town has seen about three inches already. And we still got a good two hours left of this moderate snow. Maybe hour and a half. Boulder Bay. Can't really see it through these trees, but Boulder Bay is right there. Try this, it looks like a new pizza joint right here. Right on the corner of Blue Jay and Big Bear Boulevard. forecast again so it looks like the heaviest stuff's going to end shortly after we are done so we're getting to drive through the really nice heaviest part of the storm like i always do 
and I really hope you guys are stoked about it. someone lets you pass what we do up here is we will flash our hazards at them to say thank you I believe in being really courteous on the roads I, I really do and oh wow we're hitting some serious traffic right up here but that's okay I don't start work for another hour so we're good to go so what this guy's probably thinking is he's probably going to drive around the lake I've done that before when there's a lot of traffic over here I'll turn around and go back where I came from but it's really dumping right now this is I mean it is really dumping you guys beautiful snowflakes Obviously my hand is warming them up quickly, but I'd be willing to bet there is a little accident up here, but I know a shortcut. So right up here, I'm gonna show you guys the shortcut. As a matter of fact, I think I could turn right at this next street and get through. If not, we're learning together, but I am pretty sure they are starting to move up there, but I will show you guys how we are going to cut all this traffic off. Because this is a very standard situation when we have snow like this. I mean, guys, this is, this is beautiful snow. This is huge. If traffic keeps on moving, we're gonna go to the street that I know I can cut through. my other car I'm gonna start it from here just to make sure that I uh, keep it warm so there's no snow on the windshield because I am going to be if if there's something that changes if it turns into a blizzard and the snow starts to last longer I'm gonna go back out and do another video but yeah I, I, I do want to turn right here I'm sure I can get through sure I can but I'm gonna turn right right up here Again, I'm keeping the video going because I want you guys to experience what it's going to be like for you driving in, driving into town. This is why I wanted to drive the opposite direction so I could avoid all this. But I didn't think a lot of people would have the courage to come up during these conditions. And you know what? They do. I'm glad to see you guys. Glad to see you guys. Just uh, wish that I could not be in traffic. Again, if you guys like what I do, please help me out. Hit the like and subscribe button and share it. I want people all, all over the globe to see how beautiful Little Big Bear Lake is. And again, most people don't know it snows in Southern California. But what is this? It sure does. It sure does. We get the snow here in Southern California. So we're going to be able to cut off quite a bit, but we're still going to end up with them being in traffic for a little bit. We're going to go through the village as well. Yeah, look at all these cars back of us. I don't know. If, you can't really tell. These snowflakes are big and beautiful. Again, my hand is melting them right away. And we're not getting the, the 
big, oh, there's some big flakes that just came in the car. I'll bet you a lot of people will follow me thinking that I'm taking a shortcut. And I hope they do. I sure hope they do. snowflake right there kind of get to this next street real quick. That's all. I'm not asking much. Almost there. Another hundred yards or so, we will be there. So I guarantee you folks, this traffic that we're in right now is gonna back up almost all the way to the dam and it's gonna be absolutely a nightmare for people to get into town. My suggestion, you guys, take my, I promise you, when you get to the dam, turn left, go on Highway 38. Once you get to Stanfield Cutoff, cut across there, okay? I promise you guys, I'm here to steer you correctly. I'm not going to lead you guys astray at all. I want to help you save a lot of time. Turn left at the Big Bear Dam. Do not stay on Highway 18. Turn left onto Highway 38 and go through Fawnskin and go around. Here we go. We're going to turn right here. We're going to turn right here. We're going to turn right here. Here we go, folks. Woo! Loose. Have a little fun right now. There we go. Okay, they guys, they got three or four inches right here. I can't remember the name of this street though. Let me see if, if this is not, Tulip. So if you're in that traffic all the way up, you know, getting within a, like a mile and a half or two of the village, I think that's where Tulip is. So you'll turn right on Tulip and go through here. And one of our free sledding areas that I have in the in my playlist for free sledding areas is, is right up here. It's called Aspen Glen on the right hand side. I bet we'll see some people there. And you can work your way into the woods here too. You just got to find a legal place to park. Wow, guys, there's we're, we have a lot of snow over here. It's really a lot. Okay, this is Aspen Glen picnic area. Let me go really slow by it. I don't see a lot of cars, but this is a, a great place to go sledding for free. This whole area. This whole entire area right there. Aspen Glen. Remember that name, Aspen Glen. And yeah, we got about maybe four inches of snow already here. So this is gonna drop us off right next to Magic Mountain at uh, the Alpine Slide at Magic Mountain area. That's how much we just cut off. It's probably close to a half a mile maybe. And in this traffic, guys, that is a huge, huge difference. 
we just saved 25 to 30 minutes. And look, there's no traffic, so there must have been an accident back there. Look at this. Look at, there's no traffic. There had to be an accident then. So we really scored here. Look, there's nobody coming this way. Dude, that worked out. I hope everyone's okay, but yeah, that's why we were able to make it. There's the Alpine slide at Magic Mountain. That's a paid place to go sledding, guys. Right there. It's a lot of fun. And they have a roller coaster, they have bobsledding. They have other cool stuff to do as well. So, yeah. And it's 9 a.m. Consistently and steady. This is just, this is fantastic. So once again, guys, I proved the Big Bear Snow Rule is in effect like usual. But wow, we, we really did a good job by cutting that whole scene off back there very proud of myself again we hope everyone's okay guarantee you they're fine because they're driving super slow but it's just it's a pain in the butt you don't come up here to get in a car accident that's a vacation ruiner for sure and that happens so much up here so this guy's going left we're going straight into the village Nice long look at the village. Here's our local Elks Lodge. I belonged to the Newport Harbor Elks Lodge. I think it was, uh, actually, I, 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 I can't remember the number it was, but yeah, I was like the youngest elk there. I was about 23 or, or 24 years old. I used to go with my grandpa. Here's my favorite hotel in the whole town. It, it's the nicest one by far. And I mean by far. I have a video on this place also. We stayed in one of their three bedroom spots. The place was huge. And again, I have it on the playlist, the whole entire place. I, I toured the whole place. And since management knew me from this channel, they took us of a tour on that same video of their presidential suite. Insane, just insane. <laughs> Look at, there's nobody here. Everyone's caught up. Again, this is a huge reason why it's good to know where you're going in this town. All right, we're on Village Drive. We're gonna turn left on Pine Knot and finish our Big Bear Village tour. And then we're gonna see what it's like over in Moon Ridge to take the dangerous route up into Upper Moon Ridge for you guys. So you can see the snowiest part of this entire area for residential areas. Typically the snowiest part. Again, where we went through by the Big Bear Dam, that's the snowiest part of the of the of the valley floor for sure like no question about it but when it comes to like the literal snowiest part i believe it would be upper moon ridge there we go just tossed a little bit of snow and ice off good 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 And then don't forget, on this part of Big Bear Boulevard, there are two lanes. 
on each side. But when we get snow, you can't see the road, so a lot of people treat it like it's one lane, but it's two. And I'm getting a little loose on purpose, because I like to do it, it's, it's fun. But you, just, you know, if there's no one around you, have a little bit of fun. Once again, get bored, ski and snowboard rentals right here. And they have another shop on the next corner, get bored, ski and snowboard rentals right there. Again, if you guys tell them that I sent you, you'll get your skis and your, your snowboard wax for free. And it's very important if some of the newer employees do not know about that, that arrangement that we have. Yeah, buddy. You need to ask for the owner and his name is Tony and he will make sure you get fully taken care of. They'll also probably give you guys better prices on absolutely everything in there. Your rentals will be a lot cheaper than if you go to the ski resorts. Um, it's just, it's a win-win situation. And you can buy your tickets online at getboards.com. Traffic going into Moon Ridge might be kind of rough because this is right about the time ski resorts are opening and stuff like that. So hopefully we'll be we'll be good. Again, I, I, I you know I do want to do Upper Moon Ridge, but we can take another shortcut to avoid all the Moon Ridge traffic as well, though. And I think I will show you guys how to do that as well. We're gonna pass Moon Ridge if it looks like there's a lot of traffic, and the next street. Is called Catalina. You're gonna turn right on Catalina and take that. I'll show you. I'll show you. Sometimes in years past, I've received a couple comments because I'll I'll pass someone like this, and very rarely, but it happens. Some people will get really upset with me, but there's two lanes on each side. So it's usually folks that don't know know this area. I'm, I'm not doing anything illegal. It's, there's two lanes. And again, this right lane, everyone's gonna be turning right here for Summit. And then we're just gonna be going straight. Now most of these people will probably be turning right here and the line to get into Snow Summit is probably gonna be epic right now. This is a new hotel in our area. It's a, a Hilton hotel. I think it, yeah, Hampton Inn. It's not open yet, but as soon as it opens, Rachel and I are gonna go stay there within the first few days that they open and do a video for you guys. I'm looking forward to it. TMI, Nick, TMI. Yeah, look, you can see the traffic on, on Summit Boulevard. It stopped all the way back and, and beyond Big Bear Boulevard. So it's gonna be uh, quite the wait to get to park your car. And be ready to shell out a small fortune for, just for the parking, you guys. Tickets for skiing up here and parking are, it's craziness. It's really crazy. Conditions like this, it's worth it. Okay, we're coming up to Moon Ridge 
Orange Road right here. We are going to go past and then turn right. Ah, the sound of tire chains. Click, 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 click. I get asked a lot, do you need to put them on all, all your tires? No, you just gotta put them on your tires that spin when you hit the gas, on those two tires. I've heard some stuff about certain all-wheel drive vehicles that if you put on chains, it, it, it does something with your warranty if something happens, I don't know. Just make sure you look up your car specifically to make sure that you're doing the right thing for your vehicle. They also have something fairly new called snow socks. They're easier to put on and apparently they still do the job. Again, they're called snow socks. Oh my gosh. That's right, so we're gonna be able to pop ahead and switch lanes once this turns green so we can turn right up there. This is where everyone's turning to go to Bear Mountain right now. And I guarantee you traffic's gonna be a nightmare on that stretch. Not for us, because we'll be coming out of Moon Ridge area when we do what we gotta do. Little tire chains, good, good to see, good to see. speed up a little bit to get by this guy, turn on the blinker, and turn right here. So just past Sizzler, the first street is called Catalina, you want to turn right here to avoid all the Moon Ridge traffic. I always want to show you guys the shortcuts. Unfortunately, sometimes some locals get really, really mad at me, but I know you guys aren't going to be speeding through these neighborhoods. You guys are going to be extremely respectful. So. I want to show you guys again I want to save you guys time so you can really enjoy your stay up here as you'll see there will pretty much be no one on on this road when just on the main road it's, it's gonna be bumper to bumper I guarantee you turn right here to get to the beginning of the uh, whatchamacallits the roundabouts right there but we're not going to do that we're going to stay on this and turn right here on Sonoma and take Sonoma right where I need to go to start going into Upper Moon Ridge so yeah it's, it's great to the right here this is all the traffic that you can't see through these trees bumper to bumper absolute nightmare for everyone and we're avoiding everything. And then if you wanted to go to Bear Mountain, avoiding all of this, you can go in the back way here. It's not gonna be any traffic. Coming in that front way, take you maybe 45 minutes to an hour at least. This will take you about five minutes. You're welcome. Hey, 
who's that handsome guy right there and that beautiful woman right there? Yeah, that was back when I was actually skinny. Wow. Times have changed, y'all. Times have changed. Okay, so look, if you go straight at this stop sign, you're going in the back way to hit bear. There's no traffic, not one single, well, a, a couple cars, but over there, that's where the traffic is absolutely gnarly. We're turning left right here though. And we're gonna head up. So we're on silver tip right now. And we're gonna turn, or no, sorry. Uh, the street coming up is silver tip where we're turning left. I always forget the name of this street. It's Sunset. What's this guy doing? Really, dude? slick out here folks this hill you need to maintain some good speed or you will get stuck so you've got to maintain your speed and kind of hard to maintain speed So right here, we're gonna make our first right on Butte. B-U-T-T-E, and this is gonna take us into Upper Moon Ridge. You gotta get a little bit of speed here as well. Especially the next portion, it's very steep. It might not appear to be steep. I'll show you where it starts getting bad, where you will see a lot of cars in absolute panic halfway up because they can't move forward and they're kind of heading backwards. So you got to be very careful, but you got to get some speed going up here. Of course, there's a nice little drop off on the edge. You don't want to play around with that at all, but it's very steep. And as I said, we are entering the snowiest part of the Big Bear Valley in Hole. Wow, it's really coming down. Oh my gosh, we're driving in, into the clouds now. You can't see anything. Look at that. It's like a blizzard up here. Oh my gosh. Got to go really slow because there's people sledding. We don't want to hit anybody. Oh, this is great. This is why it's the snowiest part of town, guys. Look at this. Epic. That's not my window that's all frosted up. That's what it actually looks like out there. Woo! Getting dumped on inside the car. Now we're on Villa Grove. And we're gonna take this for the loop around Upper Moon Ridge. Oh, guys, this is what I've been waiting for. This is just so beautiful. say the snowiest part of the valley might have a little more snow at this point that's because the storms roll through that in, that part first so this is about to get what we just drove through yeah we're gonna stay on Villa Grove all the way it turns into a different name it turns into La Crescenta at one point but you just stay straight on this until you can't stay just stay straight on it You'll drive all the whole Upper Moon Ridge area, which is what we're doing. Okay, 
guys. So yeah, we are we are getting close, close to the end here. If we just had a big storm with this type of snow coming through for a day, a day and a half, we'd get a couple feet of snow. This is what you guys want when you come up here, I promise you. It's just so beautiful. Going down the other side, that's gonna be a little scary too. Going up, scary, but going down these steep ones is, uh, that's that's scary stuff. You don't wanna slam on your brakes, you guys. You guys wanna slowly pump them. This turn right here is a, a dangerous turn because it keep, keeps on turning. And in a lot of cases, people will be sliding like in into these cars right here. And so you just gotta be extra cautious. Again, guys, if you guys like what I do, please hit like and subscribe. And if you want any cool merchandise, we got the coolest stuff and top, top quality stuff. Go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com. Everything's in the description. And again, for the Ski Warrior goggles, I'll be putting that information in the description of this video. But if you want to see the promo I did, go to the first video. I think the promo starts at about a minute and a half or two minutes into the video for the first video I did today. Oh yeah, there's a lot of snow up here. Yeah, there's a lot of snow. I, I, you know, a lot for what we get and what we've got this season. So, again, there's going to be people who are like, that's not a lot of snow at all. You should go to Mammoth or anywhere else on the planet where it snows. I, 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 I realize it, but for us right now with the lack of snow all season, this is a great snow. I'll take it. still looks exactly like it does right now. There's still going to be brown spots everywhere. This turns into sunny slope now, but La Crescenta is 30 yards up here. So Villa Grove turned into to sunny slope for a second, and now this is La Crescenta. And you'll take this till you get to the end, which is Wolf, Wolf Drive. this was a bigger storm and we had a lot more to go out and record, a lot more snow falling throughout the day, we'd be hitting Sugarloaf also and, um, and Irwin Lake and stuff, but we, we got the, the main parts that I like to capture. Yeah, the snow's getting pretty deep. I, I, I can feel it, feel, it on, feel it underneath me when I'm driving right now. Temperature up here at a higher elevation, 29 degrees. 
Again, it's a very nice accumulating type snow. Thank you, Mother Nature. And I need to find a car, a car detailer. I mean, look at how filthy. Look at that, just filthy. But once I detail it, it's just within a couple days, it's right back to where it was. This is Wolf Drive. We're gonna turn left. Oh yeah. And Bear Mountain is just beyond these houses. You can't see it because it's snowing so good. Gosh, that's so nice to say. It is so nice to say that, finally. I mean, this is some good, steady, heavy snow, guys. This is great. As I said, I'm a little sketched out to drive down. But we gotta get back down. Yeah, there's, there's no one behind us. Hang on a quick second. I, I gotta stop here just for a quick second. Okay, thank you. coming up to it. Again, this is very nerve-wracking, even for me, you guys. We're going to turn right here and start heading down as we're sliding a little bit. That's why you pump your brakes, but it's a slow, easy depression of your brake, not like a quick pump, pump, pump. And I'm going to put the car in a lower gear. I do have X mode, but we're not going to use X mode. If you have a Subaru or other nice all-wheel drive vehicles that have you know stuff for snow you can put your car in x mode and it just i don't know you'll be going super slow the whole time but you'll be safe for the most part that's what we're going to practice right now is just going going slow and making it safe and sound Bear Mountains over here to the left beyond these houses. You won't be able to see it though. Okay, this is the next sketchy part. Turning left here and going down right here. If you go to last year's snowstorms, you guys, when we had the major blizzards, when I was driving up here, it was crazy deep up here. Some parts had like six feet of snow, but I was just cruising like it was nothing. All right, so this is where it's gonna get sketched out again. All right, kids, 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 car, car, car. I miss being that young. Throw some snow. Uh oh. Okay, so this is where it's going to get extremely sketchy for me. I'm slowly pumping, slowly depressing, slowly, slowly, slowly. Get this is really a lot steeper than it looks, you guys. Super dangerous. And once we oh, there's cars ahead of us. This guy probably is stuck trying to get up. That's a scary, scary feeling. They're actually, there's no one in the car. They must be inside warming up the car. Woo! guy's got a really great truck to be driving in these conditions too. Oh 
how he's letting us pass. Sweet. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Give him a honk and a hazard to say thank you. This is another free sledding area. I, I show you guys how to get here. It's this big gully right here. And this gully goes in between most of Moon Ridge. I don't know if you can really see it, but it goes in between most of Moon Ridge. Still a little bit of a downhill area now, but we're good. We are good. I'm gonna show you guys one of the Airbnbs who we partner with, a really good friend. He's the one who's doing all the merchandise for me and just a super cool cat. You guys are gonna love this place when we do the giveaway for it. I mean, you're gonna love it. Here it is. Right next to Snow, or Bear Mountain. Yeah, guys, it's awesome. Got some more little tykes playing in the snow. walking hey guys when you're playing out here I hope all the cars do look out for you but if you see a car coming don't just stand stand in the stand in the middle of the street like move <laughs> because the car could slide and hit you so you know Leave that mentality down the mountain because I want you to stay safe here. It's not about owning the road up here. It's about being safe. All right, if you make a left here, you're going to uh, Bear Mountain. We're right down the street from Bear Mountain. So we're gonna take the back way out of Bear here. So you guys can see how little traffic is coming in or out right here to get you back out to the main part of town. I just want you guys to be safe. Please understand that. And we're having a little fun around this corner right here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm sliding. Oh, shit. Come on, buddy. Are you in the middle of the street, dude? Guys, that was a close call. We hit a patch of ice and barely got through it. But you guys got to see what even happens to me up here. But when people just stop in the middle of the road, that's when accidents happen. Do not stop in the middle of the road, pull over. It's the only thing I'll get really frustrated about is you'll see people literally stop in the very center here, guys, and put on their tire chains. And then cars behind them, just like me, on a downslope, who don't expect to have a car just sitting in the middle, it, it can be super, super dangerous. And again, I'm not trying to harp on anybody. I want all of you to be safe. You know, pull as far over as you can. That was close, that was close. That's the golf course right there. Oh, it's just so peaceful and beautiful out here, guys. I'm kind of excited to get off the road, though. Because this is what happens. It's impossible to drive up here. Thank you. 
There's no stop sign, buddy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> came in to get to Upper Moon Ridge and this is the way we're gonna go out. Yeah guys be, be so careful. As I said it's not gonna be your fault in most cases if there's an accident. As you just saw with me it was very very close. My car kept on sliding, kept on sliding. That was a steep downhill slope right there and I caught a little bit of ice. That definitely woke me up though. That definitely woke me up. Okay. Gave him the old honk and hazards. I'm not going fast, I'm going 19 miles an hour. But you always want to go whatever speed is safest for these types of conditions. So if it's 19, instead of the 25 or 30 mile an hour speed limit, then go 19. If it's gonna be 10 miles an hour, go 10. Just whatever's safest for these. And see, they stopped right right in the street to put on their tire chains. It's, it's, just, it's just ridiculous, you guys. It's super, super dangerous. That's, that's how people lose their lives up here. I knew someone very, very well who uh, they lost their life last season because um, they were trying to help someone get out of the road and, and help them with their, their tire chains and other cars came sliding right into them and this person lost their life. Like it's, it's, no, it's no joke you guys. That's why I get super frustrated about it. Because you guys are valuable people. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed it. Our first good snow of the season. You almost saw me crash. Freaking what a cool video so far. So anyway, hit like and subscribe. Go to bigbearweathermore.com to get your merchandise. There'll be information about those Bluetooth push to talk, walkie talkie, musical goggles with uh, Zeiss lenses in the description and in the comment section. Just have a great day, you guys. And if you have any questions, I'm always here for you. Thanks for cruising. I'm a little bit tired, but I'm proud to be here for you guys. I love you guys a lot, and uh, I will talk to you all later. It's January 3rd, 2024, yo.